What do I need to prepare for a successful penicillin oral challenge? You'll need a space in your clinic for the child and their guardian for the duration of the challenge, typically about 60 to 90 minutes. Liquid amoxicillin is the preferred form of penicillin for direct drug challenges. Rescue medications in the unlikely event of a reaction. We recommend auto-injectable epinephrine and antihistamines. What level of supervision is needed during the test? Staff should be available to observe the child with the same level of supervision as routine vaccinations. What are the steps of an amoxicillin challenge? Vitals in a brief physical exam should ensure the child is in good health for the challenge. If the child is not well, consider delaying the challenge. The child will be first given one-tenth of the dose, usually somewhere between 25 to 50 milligrams. Wait 30 minutes and then be given the full dose, usually 250 to 500 milligrams. The child should be observed for 30 to 60 minutes after the challenge. How commonly do patients have reactions during a challenge? And what are the most common symptoms? Most children have no symptoms during a moxicillin challenge. While rare, allergic symptoms can occur and are usually in the form of hives or a benign rash. Benign rashes can be treated with antihistamines. Anaphylaxis would be an extremely unlikely event in a challenge and can be treated with intramuscular epinephrine. What steps should be taken after a negative challenge? Remove the penicillin allergy label from the medical record. Educate the family that they will also need to inform other healthcare providers that their child is no longer penicillin allergic. This includes places like their pharmacy, dentist, and school nurse. Is there anything to watch out for after the challenge? Inform the caregiver that less than 5% of the time, a delayed morbilliform rash is possible, and if this occurs, they should contact the clinic. These rashes can usually be treated with just antihistamines. If a delayed rash occurs, consider repeat testing in one to two years or referral to an allergist.